brought to you by GTA. We start with you. What was your initial reaction? It's a phone call no mother wants to receive. The first thing I said, you know, is uh, everyone's uh, safe. Is anyone hurt? And thank God no one got hurt, you know, because we can't replace the... Uh, if I were to lose any one of them. I mean, this one, you can always replace whatever you see here. And by losing a, a, a family, it's... Josefa Santos heard the devastating news straight from her son, victim Benjamin Santos, whose family, to include his spouse and five children, are now homeless after a structure fire left all their belongings in ashes. It started up where he was burning a uh, egg carton for the mosquito. And I uh, guess with the wind being strong, uh, it kind of like blew the flame towards the other house and it's when uh, he's trying to tried to stop the fire, he, he couldn't because the wind was so strong. It happened so fast where it was out of control already. It all happened too fast. As Santos explains, it was simply too late. Once the fire started, the tin and wood home was completely consumed by flames. According to Guam Fire Department spokesperson Kevin Riley, just before 5 o'clock yesterday, units along with medics and rescue units responded to the house fire along Chalan Tumatis and Estimbo Dededo. Riley says the entire structure, including two cars, were fully engulfed when units arrived. There's nothing left except whatever structure is demolished. The Dededo Mayor's office is accepting donations for the Santos family at the Senior Center from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. beginning today through next week. According to Vice Mayor Peter Beneventi, the five children are between the ages of 5 to 11 years old. The family is in need of food, house goods, and clothing items. I'm very thankful for him, you know, being here. And uh, even late last night, you know, he was so supportive. Mm -hmm. And even also as for the fire uh, fighters that were, that were here, and they didn't leave until everything is uh, cleared up. The family stayed overnight in a tent and car on the grounds of their home. If you would like to donate directly to the family, contact Josefa Santos at 678-6230 or Janine Cruz at 671-583-9580. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.